Hi everyone, welcome! Happy Christmas and Merry Holidays! Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone! Today is a Christmas Eve and I've decided to fix my computer. I have my laptop here. I have a $15 keyboard from eBay, which looks, which looks alright, except where is it? This key right here. This key. Can you see it? It's kind of broken in the middle. So, on top of changing my entire keyboard, I'm also going to be changing this little key. This one. The shift key. This is a shift key. I'm such a noob. Just a disclaimer, I'm no professional. I'm a total noob. Don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try. So, for this project, I have these tools that will help me get stuff unstuck, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. Nervous, but excited. But let's get started. So, the first step is really, really easy. It's just unscrewing all the screws around the uppercase and then taking it off. I've been following a tutorial on iFixit, which I also linked down in the description box. If you need it, I highly recommend you follow it because it's very well made. All the steps are there, all the pictures are there, and it's basically, if you follow that instructions, it's just like Legos for adults or assembling Kia furniture, basically. But you need to be a little more careful not to break something. And what this disassembly of the computer is, is basically just unplugging everything and unscrewing all the parts that are in so you can take them out so that eventually you can get to the keyboard part. And here I'm just unscrewing the fan or the cooling system. And I must say at the beginning I was very, very, very careful not to break something or tear something apart while unplugging it because um you don't want to do that right <laughs> you don't want to break a computer um but eventually you get the grip you get the feeling of how much strength you need to actually pull things out and after you get that feeling it's really really simple <laughs> i would just like to mention that make sure you put all the screws separately so when you're putting everything back together it's so much easier if you know which screws belong to where otherwise um, you know it can get a little bit tricky but if you you know make sure you put all the parts that you took out into different piles then you shouldn't have any problems I'm here and screwing the battery which is not an original battery of this computer I already changed that once because my computer is old and the battery died or was about to die and I decided I don't want to pay too much for a five minute job and I did it myself. And now more unplugging stuff from this logic board so we can eventually take it out as well. At this point I wasn't afraid of breaking stuff anymore so this was, this is where it got really fun. Well, it was fun from the beginning, um, but now even more so. I'm here taking out the SSD, um, which you need to be careful. But once you see where everything, how everything is plugged in, you can just take it out safely and not worry about breaking it. This is where the monitor is screwed on, or the uppercase some people might say it and on the other side just make sure to push the antenna cable aside so we can unscrew part of the monitor and then the last uh, screw from the logic board so we can take it out afterwards. Uh, this was a little bit trickier because it was just so snug in there um, but yeah Taking the antenna out though was fun. And this was a little bit nerve wracking for me because it's just, I don't know, screens are supposed to be um, not so durable. So um, you have to be careful taking it apart 
so that it doesn't fall or something. I don't know, but it turned out to be fine and easy, just like everything else was. And this is the speakers that are coming out. The left one came out really easy. The right one gave me a little bit of trouble because the glue was just really strong and I had to put more strength into it. But eventually it came out as well. And you can see that's where the spill went. Well, parts of it anyway. I just wiped that off because it's disgusting and I don't want it in my computer. I have no choice in the matter. Anyway, I cleaned everything before putting everything back together because it was very dusty and um, also dirty from the spill. But yeah, more unplugging and um, you're supposed to tear that cable off, don't worry. Uh, and now for the rougher part. This is where I'm taking off the backlight of the keyboard. And you can see, yeah, it didn't come off as it's like in one piece because everything was just stuck together because of the spill. You can see the brown spots. And, but it doesn't matter because um, with the new keyboard, I also got the backlight. So I didn't have to worry about keeping that in one piece. And now you just need to unscrew all the screws around. And can we just, you know, spend a minute appreciating how tiny those screws are they are adorable now i put some tape on it so when taking the keyboard out uh, a small bit break and this prevents them flying across the room and this is where you need to use a little bit of force don't be as gentle as with other things but obviously taking the keyboard out like this is destroying it but since it was already destroyed who cares, right? Yeah, um, everything went smoothly, I must say. And you can see how disgusting everything is. So dusty and lots of residue from the spill. And this is the result of taking out the keyboard. Um, but yeah. And then I decided to change the key from the keyboard first before changing the keyboard itself. Um, at first I just took out a random key because I wanted to make sure that I'm not going to break it. And then also the key from the new keyboard. I noticed the two were different. So I just, I took a plastic big bit from the other one and I was able to put it to the old one. And, but it also had like a metal bit in the top. So I took that out and, um, when I put it back in, it happened to work perfectly fine. You can obviously see the difference, like the old button is very shiny compared to the keys that are like very matte. So I just put back the key, the keyboard, the new one, uh, and screw it back in. And then I just put everything back in the same order, or the re actually the reverse order of taking out everything I put everything back inside and yeah I didn't film that because obviously it's the same then you just put everything all the screws back in and that's supposedly it if you didn't screw up something <laughs> you see what I did there anyway um yeah you can see in the right corner that there is a missing Oh, what's that thing called? That thing that's missing, obviously. I managed to find it somewhere and I just glued it back in. And now my computer looks brand new. I did it. And now for the moment of truth.
next time I'll be changing a broken screen on my LG Nexus 5X. This just happened two days ago. This is it. Thank you very much for watching and if you want to see me change the screen on this device and then make sure to subscribe so you will be notified when I do so. Thank you. Bye.